some new ways to top off the perfect Frank. Alex Dennis is live this morning with hearty ways to jazz up any weekend barbecue. This is CBS 2 News This Morning. Live from Studio 46, this is CBS 2 News This Morning. And speaking of food, Alex Dennis is live on the Upper West Side talking hot dogs. Hi, Alex. Good morning, ladies. We are transforming one of America's favorite foods, the hot dog, into a must-have main dish. We are showing you some of the easy and impressive recipes that you can do at home coming up, so you won't want to miss it. Stay with us. Hot dogging like no one else can. Alex Dennis is taking toppings to the max for a summer tradition. She's at Soldier McGee's on the Upper West Side talking hot dogs. And frankly speaking, these aren't your typical dogs. Hey, Alex. <laughs> Good morning to you. We had a little mishap early this morning. We have our drinks all ready to go as well as our hot dogs. Uh, we're only a week away from the 4th of July, but instead of that crazy hot dog eating contest, it's all about savoring your hot dog this morning. And we are with Wieners Gone Wild. So we have Holly and Alan with us. They have these incredible dogs. Let's first talk, talk about how many people are purchasing hot dogs. It's really an unbelievable number. Seven billion hot dogs are consumed in America between Memorial Day and Labor Day every year. So let's just say you have an audience. Well, that's seven hundred and seven million and ten a second. That's incredible. Isn't that crazy? The amount of people that are purchasing and buying and loving and cooking. So let's talk about these recipes because you kind of stepped up the game. How did you get this idea? It had to be done. There wasn't one in the market. And we love hot dogs. And everybody loves hot dogs. So let's go ahead and go through some of these. Okay. Uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we make the buffalo dog? All right. I'm and, with you. Um, what do you eat at a bar? We're at Soldier McGee Tavern. Mm -hmm. What do you eat? You eat wings, buffalo wings. Not today. We made a buffalo dog. <laughs> so what we have is we have buffalo sauce, which is actually Frank's hot sauce and butter. Really simple. Super easy to make. You have no idea how easy some of these things are to make. I mean, I had no idea that buffalo sauce was so easy. You think it's like this mysterious thing. And we and threw in some paprika just to spice it up a bit. And how it's did phenomenal. you guys come up with the idea to pair some of these ingredients together? You know, we came up with all the recipes in a bar in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> some of the best ideas are born there. That's right, which is where we do our best work. We take some blue cheese sauce. You can buy uh, blue cheese dressing and add some blue cheese. That's what we like to do. And then you sprinkle for a little bit of crunch, a little bit of celery on top. And, and it's there delicious. you go. It's like buffalo wings, but on a hot dog. Portable, delicious, amazing. But you have other toppings, too, that are incredibly yes. impressive. This dog is called the Drunk Dog, which is perfect for us here at Soldier McGee Tavern on the Upper West Side. This dog is dipped in beer batter, deep fried, and topped with a roasted tomatillo salsa. And I see the eggs on this one. one. Yes. And this way, you can, out, you can drink your, eat your margarita as well as drink it. Yes. We made Perfect. this one specifically for Soldier McGee Tavern. Okay. I'm liking it. You belly up to the bar. This is a breakfast dog. Perfect for the morning after. It's a fried egg, a hot dog, and corned beef hash, and an Irish whiskey mustard. I'm loving it all. I'm going to toss it back to you guys in the studio, but there is more to come. They have a lot of surprises, a whole book full of delicious recipes, so we're going to continue to talk about them throughout the morning. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was course. Wow, that looks good. It was like watching fireworks, because Cindy Shue <laughs> kept going, ooh, <laughs> ah, so blue good. cheese, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo dog, what a good idea. And I've had some of these dogs, and it's the taste. It's just great. You wouldn't think about it. I'll try so, it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's uh, grill out this weekend. It's going to be nice. And talking, uh, taking hot dogs to the next level, Alex has all the fixings perfect for any summer picnic. So you know Alex, she is all in for the ultimate hot dog. She's live on the Upper West Side with more. <laughs> Good morning, Cindy and Mary. We are taking a fun twist on hot dogs, showing you some easy yet impressive recipes that you can make at home just in time for summer. You won't want to miss it. Coming up. All right. Well, Alex Dennis has volunteered for a tough assignment this morning. Yeah, this one's really <laughs> difficult. She's talking hot dogs, not your typical hot dogs, at Soldier McGee's on the Upper West Side. It's all about the toppings there. Hey, Alex, good to see you. Looks delicious. Good morning to you. Nice to see you. We are taking it to a whole different level. Right now, we're combining two of our favorite school lunches. Holly, tell me what you've got going on. We have here the sloppy dog, mm. which is a sloppy joe mixture that's easy to make from scratch. Super, super easy. No can and no lunch lady required. 
We put that on a hot dog and it's absolutely delicious. It's a little bit spicy, meaty goodness. And the best thing is you can make it ahead of time. It'll yes. be ready whenever you want a buffalo dog. And then we drape it with Munster cheese. Mm. I like it. It's delicious. And you have another topping here we too. We can put a few green peppers on there for put a little, a little bit of your veggies. Yeah, a little Come veggie, on. make it healthy. <laughs> yes. And we have a few other dogs here that we made for you. Over here, we combined a hot dog and a BLT, and it's a BLT dog. And what we did to make it really special is we took a hot dog, wrapped it in bacon, we deep fried it, mm. put it in a bun, lettuce, tomato, crazy. The pork and pork together. And there's a little garlic aioli on there as well. Now, when you guys are thinking and coming up with these recipes, are you going for opposite flavors that you think are going to complement each other, or is it trial and well, error? What, what we found out is that the hot dog is kind of like bacon. It goes with everything. Mm, it goes it with really savory. Does. It goes with sweet. Um, right here, we have a dog we made for Soldier McGee, the tavern we're in. And what we did is we took a hot dog, we put it in a bun, with some Irish whiskey mustard, some corned beef hash, and on top we put a fried egg. And this is, the, it's, it's early, so we had to make a, right. a breakfast dog. Now are you particular about your dogs? Does it matter where you're getting them from? Can it be a turkey dog? You know, Can it be a veggie? It's really a matter of personal preference, and it depends on where you live. Hot dogs are still very much a regional food. And in our book, which Wiener's Gone Wild, we explain how, what to look for in a hot dog and, and how to find the kind that you like. You can also use, if you're not, if you're not eating meat, you can use veggie dogs, you can use tofu. Uh, we won't like you if you do, yeah. <laughs> but, but you're, you're, you're welcome to. Okay, so are we going to eat these? I think sure you've cooked all morning. Which one do you yeah. suggest that I go for? Why don't you start with this? Oh, the sloppy is the better. Go right dog. ahead. I think oh, you, you need the sloppy wanna, dog. You, you got to turn it around. I don't want to get all that you bread. Want I want to try it. right under your head. There we go. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. It even lingered on my nose. There's so much on there. <laughs> You ladies, but they are delicious. <laughs> no, it's so fine. Weird. We don't see anything. You're fine. You're fine. You're looking to feed me. <laughs> feed us too, please. I know. I want to try the one with the blue cheese and mm -hmm. the corned beef hash. That looks really good. It looks good. really good. And the, again, you know your stomach's going to kill you afterwards, but it tastes so good going It'll down. Worth it's it. worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> Up next.